All right, where are we? Okay, oh, it's found me. Okay, active track, go. Oh. Oh. Let's see what happens. Oh, and this has fallen already. Get out. It's not going well, guys. search of gravel again um, I have heard well I haven't heard anything but I looked on Google Maps last week it was saying that the road was blocked like the road was closed going out to Fodapu and uh, I checked just like an hour ago and it's saying it's open if you haven't been out to Fodapu probably lots of you guys haven't um, it's a pretty sweet long gravel road that goes through all the Waitakere Hills and uh, and uh, yeah, quite high elevation and then, well, high elevation for Auckland <laughs> goes down to Fodipu Beach. So yeah, I'm going to head out there. Um, I've brought my drone with me. My handlebars are just full of crap at the moment because I've got my Peak Design mount. I have my TPX radar mount because I need to get the new wiring kit for this bike. And I have this new thingy here which holds my uh, DJI drone controller. So I thought I would try that out because I've had it for ages. I bought it because I am a wedding photographer and videographer and I, and I use it for work. But um, I don't even use it on all weddings so I hardly ever use it. So I have the DJI Mini 3 Pro with the RC controller with the screen built in. So I'm going to head out there, find some gravel and um, see how well it tracks me on this bike. From past experience the DJI drones don't track that well especially with motorbikes so hopefully it works pretty well but we will see heading out to my hometown here I also have this other mount so this came with the drone controller but I already had this RAM mount set up so I'm using that but luckily it holds my GoPro as well so I have my GoPro Hero 8 on the uh, other camera in front of me we'll head out to Hawea and I uh, see if this gravel road is actually open, get some drone footage and have a bit of fun. So I've tried to use drone footage before in other videos, um, in my first kind of videos and it's just such a pain um, and it's mostly because you kind of have to put this controller somewhere. The last time I did it, I dropped the controller off the bike and it's just a pain. So hopefully this RC controller holder uh, will solve that issue for me and I can get some cool shots for you guys without being too much of a hassle. Pretty sure I just got stung in the face by a pig because <laughs> oh fuck I forgot to have my visor down. I guess we'll find out when I stop. Like okay, I'm not allergic. That's a view. Ah, oh, how's that for a view? Epic. So we got some rain coming.
Welcome to Huia Beach. Looks more like a swamp than the tides out, but uh, it is still my hometown. There's a sweet campsite here as well. If you guys are looking for somewhere to camp uh, in Auckland, it's not too far. It's quite close, you know, this is like, I don't know, 15 minutes from Tutorangi village. And it's pretty cool. It's like $10 a night or something like that. It's a dock site. Pretty rad mountains in the background so those mountains up there are the ones that we're um, about to go through or over I'll let these people uh, camp in private get this rowdy bike out of here bloody hooligans Little detour number two. I'm still surprised how much traction these tires actually have. Uh, these AT41s. I mean, they're nowhere near as good as like a knobbly, but shit, they look like they'd be terrible and gravel, but they're actually really good. All right, let's get on to the main destination. Super windy at the moment, but uh, this is one of the stretches I want to try the drone on, but we'll do it on the way back because the light's looking pretty grey and boring at the moment. So once we get a bit of the sun out of the clouds on the way back, we'll do that. It's really windy at the moment too. But uh, this is the little coast road that heads to Little Huia. So normal, is it normal Huia? Huia is over there and Little Huia is right here. And then we're going to hang a right to go up Fodipu Road and get some gravel practice on. See how far we can get. Almost at the gravel here, it just starts around this corner. There's a nice view for you. I don't want to stop too long around the corner here, but that's who we are down there. Beautiful view. Alright, let's see what condition this road's in. I decided I'm going to um, go one tooth down on the front sprocket and uh, copy Chris Birch. So it is quite tall gearing. I 
like six gear at 100k an hour it feels like you got to be in fifth really oh she's pretty rough this would be fun still grips man these at41s oh this is rough there's a cool view spot here as well looking back I reckon this is a photo op got a new phone the other day I got the Samsung S23 Ultra uh, trying Android again after being on iPhone for ages probably regret it but we'll see oh <laughs> Oh, she's loose. She's loose. Man, now that goes up to the lookout right at the top, but this goes down to the beach. This is going to be my first KTM uh, reliability issue, <laughs> or is it something basic? That must be the one that closed the road, holy shit, definitely. switch first nothing if we turn it off and on again right. why does it say that's weird <laughs> So I have a check engine light, but there's no warning or anything on the dash. So I don't know why the check engine light came on, I had a quick Google. Um, and there's no warning on the dash, there's no error codes, it's running fine. I mean there obviously is an error code, but I'm going to ride it anyway. And uh, we'll check the battery when it gets home, because apparently the ground was can, can cause some issues. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. I will update you guys if I have more issues. But here is my drone controller on the mount and here's my Mavic 3 Pro, no, Mini 3 Pro. So let's get this bad boy up. We'll hover it, let's get over there and see if it'll follow us. There it is. Alright, where are we? Record. There I am. Okay. How do we do this? Oh, it's found me. Okay. Active track. Go. Oh. Oh. Let's see what happens. Let's put this GoPro on as well. So that can see us. Oh, and this has fallen already. Fuck it, hell. It's not going well, guys. I did notice that. Uh, this mount's pretty, so I think we'll just leave it like that, that's fine. Alright, let's go. Seems
seems to be doing it all right. I'm going uh, 30k an hour. Let's go a little bit faster. Still going. Is it still got me? Alright. See if it crashes. Ah, it's lost me. <laughs> I don't even know where I am. Alright, I'm gonna bring it down. Oh, it's all the way down there. Fuck. <laughs> hey guys. Thanks, man. I lost my fucking drone somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it won't follow me through the through the trees, you know. Ah, uh, no, that came. That was on it when I bought it, eh? No, no, I got it. Um, it done like. Uh, oh, let me just get this thing down. It done like um, four thousand k's. Yeah. Oh, no. So you're at Catherine Midlife? Yeah, I've got the yeah. same bike as well. Oh, there? Yeah. His bike is down there. Down, down the road. But yours got... Oh, no, same. Same model and everything? Yes. Exactly, you can show exactly the same model. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I run different tires here, but... Yeah, I just, swap, I just put these on, because eh, I did that Chris Birch course. Oh, did you? Like yeah. last week. Yeah. Or the week before or whatever, and I had the, the knobbies on. These are pretty good still. Oh, the knobbies don't last long, eh? You get about 1,500 uh, 1, k's out of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I just got it like a month ago, eh? Yeah, high fender, eh? Do all those trails. Yeah, thanks, man. Oh, I'll put it in my backpack. Oh. Do you find the, yeah, um, thanks, bro. Do you find the stand too short? The side stand? Yeah. Uh, you've, you've got a weird stand. Oh, is that not a normal one? No, you get the, um, you get those givey things that you can bolt onto the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what I've been finding. Those givey, they're about 40 bucks or something. Yeah. Oh, I'll do that. Travels, See ya bro. Yeah, See ya. <laughs> it works. This mount doesn't hold it up properly. So that's kind of annoying. So I'll come up with something different for that. I don't know if you can blame it because it's a pretty rough job holding that puppy on. Anyway, let's get back out of here. Other than my engine light coming on, so fuck. The cycle spot's not even open to uh, be able to take it in there. Get another drone clip here. I have to put the effort in, you know. Engine light's still on. I'm gonna get a drink, have a sit, have a quick look around the bike, see if I can find anything that's wrong with it, and then make my way home. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, subscribe, drop a comment, all that good stuff. Appreciate you.
how the uh, shop's shut. Stop at the next one. Oh, time for a drink.